Hey everybody, so there haven't really been that many new things to update you guys on in the realm of paladins. As for me personally, I have been saving my new caches. I just opened like 42 of them in a previous video, so if you want to check that out, you can to see what I got. Other than saving my caches, I haven't really been doing much in game lately. I did recently max out my silver hand weapon. I got the uh, Concordance of the Legion fall ability, where you unlock every trait for your weapon after empowering it. Other than that, I've been trying to look up Paladin news and updates, and the only thing that I could find was that there's a new build on the PTR, which, as you know, isn't confirmed. It's just something that they're putting on the public test realm, so it could be retracted at any point, but I just want to go over the changes that they are putting into the PTR in case you guys are interested and want to check it out. They mainly pertain to Retribution Paladins, so this is going to be mostly a Ret-focused video. Alright, here we go. So I'm on the PTR, I've got my Paladin, I am Retribution spec, and so the two changes that they added to this build are related to PvP talents. You can open up my PvP Honor Talents tab. First thing is about Blessing of Sanctuary. What they did is that they're nerfing the cooldown of Blessing of Sanctuary. Right now on the live server, the cooldown is only 30 seconds, but it looks like they're doubling the cooldown to one minute. And uh, I'll just read it off to you what Blessing of Sanctuary does. It instantly removes all stun, silence, fear, and horror effects from the friendly target and reduces the duration of future such effects by 60% for 5 seconds. And as you can see here, the cooldown is 1 minute. Okay, and so just to compare, I'm on the live server right now, and I have my talents open for Ret. And as you can see here, on the live server, it's a 30 second cooldown right now. The other thing that's changed is Seraphim's Blessing. Now, I'm a slacker, and I don't have honor level 43. But for those of you who do PvP and have this unlocked, this is the ability that when you are nearby allies within allies, when you or nearby allies within 40 yards drop below 40% health, your next flash of light cast within 5 seconds is instant. This effect cannot occur more than once every 15 seconds. Back on the live server again, and here's Seraphim's Blessing, and again, I still don't have uh, Honor Level 43. The description says, when you or nearby allies within 40 yards drop below 40% health, you gain Avenging Wrath for 5 seconds. This effect cannot occur more than once every 60 seconds. So what's changing is that instead of gaining Avenging Wrath, your next flash of light will now be instant. And this cannot occur more than once every 15 seconds. All in all, I know this isn't a huge update, but it's the latest information that I could find on Paladins that I felt was worthy of making a video about. I'm not huge into PvP right now, as you can see, I don't have a very high honor level. I've been trying to do the PvP world quests more often, just so that I could raise my level slowly. I haven't really been into Battlegrounds much, because it seems like it's very one-sided on my server. I I'm on Alliance currently, not by choice. Every Battleground except Isle of Conquest is pretty much one-sided and the Horde always win. So I haven't really been doing Battlegrounds or PvP much. So I guess it's a good thing that they have the PvP World Quest because that gives you an alternate opportunity to gain some honor and prestige and whatnot. But for those of you Rep Paladins who do frequent PvP, these changes will affect your gameplay a little bit depending on your honor level and what you have talented. So that's pretty much all I have for now guys. I'm sorry this isn't much of a lengthy update but that's all I could find. If you guys have any ideas for videos or things that you would like to see, give me a shout out in the comments, let me know. I'm curious to see what kind of videos you guys like best. I've usually been reporting on Paladin updates and changes, but um, I'm open to new ideas. I've also been toying with the idea of covering more Paladin spells specifically. Like, I've done Light's Hammer in the past, I've done Lay on Hands. I'm open to the idea of reviewing more Paladin spells. I have reviewed a bunch of Paladin Legendaries too, I'll leave a link to at the end of this video. I can continue doing that as well. They will more than likely be related to Paladins, because that's my main class and that's what I've been playing. 
thanks for tuning in guys if you like the video feel free to give it a thumbs up and if you like my channel feel free to subscribe show some support and i'll see you guys soon